Hi, this is Cecilia from Tarot by Cecilia, and today is Wednesday, January 18th, 2017. The tarot card for today is the Ace of Cups. Isn't this beautiful? This is from the Star Tarot. I keep praying that this deck is released. I think now she's talking May, and I do intend to contact her in the very near future and see if I can get some details about this deck for you. Uh, you know, after yesterday's card, I'm just doing a big old wow here, all right? Because these two cards are very similar. The Ten of Cups, the Ace of Cups. There's so much emotional fulfillment here. And this is also, you know, like trusting your intuition. So I think that you're really starting to see, you know, where maybe even trusting yourself. Going, okay, I can do this. My life has so changed. And, you know, it, it's an emotional thing when you think about it. Because it, it just, it, things things are possible. You know, we have sometimes, not to talk about cards that haven't even been up lately. But a lot of times the Ten of Swords, all right, comes out. And, you know, it kind of represents bottoming out, things of that nature. And, you know... When that happens, there is nowhere to go but up. This card is the up, okay? It is where you're headed, and it shows me. Like I said yesterday, it's like you're really finding a sweet spot and going, wow, okay, this feels good. Now, what we have to realize is that you can't stay in this space forever, you know, unfortunately, because there's a lot of work yet to be done. And... That's okay. You're really being able to, like, I want to say let loose with your creativity. You know, it started back, we had that magician card back on Saturday, and you're looking to create things. And this shows me that it's done in a very positive manner. I love this. I'll tell you, this is amazing. So while you may feel that you have reached um, a pinnacle of success with something, I don't think it's the thing. I'm not sure if that will make sense to you or not. In other words, there is greater emotional fulfillment available to you down the line. This is kind of just like the tip of the iceberg. All right? This is that moment that confirms to your soul that all that change was possible. You know, because if you stop and you think back, to how bad your life was in previous years and things that were going on and look at how far you've come and you see what you've accomplished today you have every right to feel good and that is just amazing to me absolutely amazing so i am really glad to see this type of energy coming in that validates the fact that change is possible happiness is possible but like I said, needing to remember that this is just a, maybe a stopping off point for the moment because there's so much more to do and greater things that are on their way. So let's keep that in mind because this is going to be a busy year taking you to places that, wow, you know, I've mentioned a couple of dates before and I want to reaffirm them for you. Um, August 21st. Is kind of like our big turning point to where we really see what that new life may be like. Okay. And preceding that on May 22nd is when we come out of all this, like what we're in now. Right now we're in transitional mode, change mode, you know, what will work mode. And that's why I said, you know, you may feel good about things today, but there's a lot left to be done. So May 22nd is the target date to get to and then it's like okay time for the big transition and getting into the new life which begins after august 21st so it sounds like fun and we are all in this together my friends so i want to thank you all for listening and i'll see you here again tomorrow and as always have a great day